Good morning everyone and welcome to Meister Tarot. I must admit I'm looking ravishing today. I have my work clothes on, I have the plumber coming and I need to dig a hole for him. So <laughs> I shall do that as soon as I have finished this reading. Um, but I did want to pop on this morning and have a look at a, a couple of things. Um, first of all, well, the only thing I want to really look at today is... Um, Midterms are coming up in the US, vitally important. And I wanted to have a look at um, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Now, I don't know quite why she came into my sphere of, of uh, uh, recognition today. I mean, she's everybody knows who she is. She's an absolute um, extreme white wing nutter, gun nutter who... Okay, she dropped out of high school, but so did I. Um, but she is a rabid Trump supporter and blah, blah, blah. We all know Marjorie Green. You don't need me to tell the story. Now, she was elected to Congress in 2022 and yet is coming up for re-election at the midterms. Now, I tried to find out why she's got such a short term and I, I didn't succeed on that and I don't pretend to... Uh, understand American politics so please let me know why has Marjorie Taylor Greene got such a short uh, term in government before she comes up for re-election because I thought Congress had four years seven years something like that not not exactly sure but okay let me know so sorry I'll move my notes over here so I'm not looking to the side so she replaced John Graves who um, resigned from he didn't resign he just wasn't going to run again so I, again I don't quite know why um, she's up for re-election so soon but she's replacing John Graves replaced John Graves in 2020 election uh, sworn in 2021 okay a uh, few things that came out recently she supports Trump in his wording of calling Putin a genius yeah okay whatever that's just her Modus operandi, uh, she has tweeted out that Ukraine should surrender to Russia, literally roll over and have its belly rubbed. She voted against the bill that would have sent, uh, or the bill passed, but she voted against the bill that um, was going to send uh, financial aid to Ukraine. Uh, she voted against the Russian trade san sanctions along with the usual uh, conspirators of Bobert and Gates, etc. There were eight Republicans that voted against um, trade sanctions against Russia. And she also has $3.5 million in donations that is under investigation because the donors have been undisclosed. Now, she does need to go through the pre-selection process um, for uh, to, to stand for the Republican Party, but she romped in with such a high um, percentage of votes last time. I can't see her not being pre-selected. Um, there is a swag of Democrats lining up to take her on uh, that also have to go through pre-selection. But it appears that Marcus Flowers is the front runner. Now he is um, a, in the similar ilk cut from the same similar cloth as uh, John Lewis. Um, don't know much about Marcus Flowers, but he is sort of an upright citizen standing for the people. Well, very well educated. Uh, he is a, of African-American descent um, and just seems like a nice guy. So <laughs> whether nice guys can win, I don't know. But we'll have a bit of a look this morning. So first of all, I'll very quickly pull to see will Marjorie Taylor Greene get the Republican pre-selection for Georgia in the midterms will Marjorie Taylor Greene get the Republican pre-selection for the Georgian midterms Marjorie Taylor Greene oh, coming together quickly for me uh, the Judgment Card. So this is about a call to arms, a collective awakening. Mm, interesting for young Marjorie, or not so young Marjorie. 
giving and receiving help well this is the staple of the republican party isn't it uh, yeah so she is getting assistance behind the scenes oh so we've got um the queen of wands so this is sorry queen of swords so this is uh, in regards to intelligence and justice coming for her. Oh, and then I've got the Ace of Pentacles upside down. Now, I don't usually read upside down, and I generally check that my decks are the right way up before I start reading. But the Ace of Pentacles is an interesting one. Uh, this is about new beginnings, but it's upside down, so maybe it's a new ending. Um as the investigation into these donations comes to light when I combine her with this uh, investigative figure, female figure, that's quite interesting. And then the next card is we have Retreat, def Wounded in Battle, and then the Truth coming to the fore. Interesting. And then we have tem oh, base of the pack is Temperance, um, information coming very quickly, things under review. Sorry, I'm, I'm back in my, yay, my favourite spot, but it does, the sun does shine on these uh, cards, so I'll try and keep them down for you. But I don't know. And then we have Queen of Wands, who is um, uh, very self-aware, balanced, confident, uh, queen uh, she does have something to reveal she is bringing messages she is bringing messages and then we've got this cat here who's keeping a, a very close eye on what's going on and then the two next swords we've got abuse of power and this one is um, can be self-sabotage it can be the win at any cost but what you also note in this card is the uh, being abandoned by their colleagues, um, walking away, no longer prepared to put up with all this rubbish that is going on. So this is about um, abuse of power, dishonor, lies. This is about um, sabotage and dis sabot oh, sorry, this is <laughs> Dishonor, lies, sabotage, deception. The, the two cards are very similar, but they have, they have a same sort of feel about them in that it's, it's about betrayal and abuse of power. And, but this one in particular is they're walking away, embattled, wounded in battle, having to set boundaries, endings and beginnings. An offer being made, but not liking that offer. That's interesting. That was just even, is she going to make it past the primaries? Okay, we'll keep looking at uh, both of them. So I'll just do Marcus Flowers. I'll use the same deck. I mean, it would be nice to, for such a lovely guy, use a different deck, but I'll use the same deck. Tell me about Marcus Flowers. Will he get past the Democratic the primaries for the Democratic Party of Georgia for the 22 midterms. Tell me about, tell me about Marcus Flowers. Will he, Marcus Flowers, tell me about Marcus Flowers in the 2022 midterms. Flung out at me, circles of support, emotional celebration he will something will come up where he has to defend himself there will be some introspection but he's also the light and the dark so this is the card about um, introspection and investigation and isolation but it is also about the light in the dark so that's interesting in fighting in the Democratic Party. Gosh, guys, come on, can't you learn the decision that needs to be made? But then we have this Knight of Pentacles, this 
steady, reliable, moving forward. Um, he's um, determined uh, and he's bringing forward this message of uh, hard work, practicality, um, security, a lot of anxiety in regards to this. But then we've got the Page of Swords. Now I see this as actually Marcus Flowers at the moment in that it is a youth coming forward um, bearing the sort of truth and honour at the start of their journey. But he is fairly naive. I'm getting the feeling in regards to politics. Out in the cold, there's a... And a decision to be made. So, juggling. And then we have the Emperor card. The Patriarchal, My Way or the Highway. I think he's, and based on the pack, we have the Harsh Truth. The Smug Merchant. Can also be Wish Fulfillment. Working together. Uh, independence, um, but can also... Um, it is about wealth and independence and, and luxury, but can also be a, a confine where you're confined by that. An offer being made, a call to arms, a collective awakening. So again, I'm not getting a definite that he is. Um, not much better cards than Taylor Green, I'm afraid. Uh, we've got these decisions that need to be made on, on a couple of levels. He's going to have to defend himself. There's going to be some sort of, he's going to do something or say something that is, he's going to have to defend himself and it means there's this introspection and this infighting about who's best for the job. We've got these here. He, he is naive which is causing anxiety um, We've got this financial out in the cold. I don't know how his donations are going. Um, and then we've got this slow and steady versing the emperor. So the emperor is the, the very much powerful male figure. Um, not so much my Trump card as more my Putin card. And... Uh, they are unwavering. It's my way or the highway. So I think he's going to be, there is going to be this collective awakening, which I'm finding quite somewhat. <laughs> okay, so I don't know about Marcus Flowers. I don't even know that he's going to get past the primaries. Um, that'll be one to watch. It's This is... Keeping in mind completely that this is the energies of right now, this is the energies of today, he's going to need to uh, watch his words, watch his actions very carefully if he's wanting to uh, break through. So I'm going to leave that with there. I'm not going to pit them up against each other yet. I will wait to see who gets through the primaries. But I want... Oops. Marjorie Taylor Greene is the incumbent, so I'm wanting to have a look at how she's going to go in the midterms. Quite a despicable character, I'm afraid, but she seems to have this following that, yeah, I don't quite understand. I don't know that the people of Georgia have gotten anything out of her other than the, the ability to rant and to blame others and um, sorry I don't like to have too much sky showing behind me uh, other than her ability to rant and and um, stir up fear and and controversy and yes she is known but she's ineffective in in Congress because uh, no one will deal with her aside from the sort of the Gats, Gates and the Bobarts, but no one will actually deal with her. So, oh, 
Tell me how she's going to go in the midterms. Come on down. Now I've got you guys quite a bit further propped up today, so hopefully get a better view. But let's see how she goes in the midterms. Okay, getting, giving and receiving help. Okay, so I've got the uh, the tower moment for her, which we all know what it means: abrupt change, breaking down of systems. Crossed by the giving and receiving help. Now, I'll keep shuffling because I wasn't quite challenged by the giving and receiving help. So tell me how Taylor Green's going to go in the midterms. Taylor Green in the midterms. There's something about this financial donations that's going to come under scrutiny. The King of Cups. So we've got this... Uh, a powerful figure who is this diplomat calm. This is Biden, base of the reading, so that's interesting. In the past, we've got the uh, King of Swords. Okay, so he's all about um, uh, truth and insight and wisdom, investigation, but it's in the past. I'm talking about the midterm, so I'm wondering if there's some, she's going to be under some sort of investigation by the time the midterms come around. So we'll have a look at the moment. Messages coming out forward very quickly. Up ah, here is our abuse of power, our sabotage, our being abandoned, um, walking walking away, people no longer wanting to, to be part of, of the treachery that they're involved in. Interesting. Under that, we've got the, um, this is the external, the external influences. So this is uh, Unite of Cups, who's bringing forward an offer. He's, nothing's to be revealed in that yet, but there's an offer coming forward. He's bringing a message of an offer. Slow moving. External influ uh, internal influences is, um, again, sword, so we're talking about justice. There is a difficult decision to be made. There is a crossroads that will be reached, and this is the internal influence. Mm, okay. Hopes and fears. She's going to have to defend herself against something, outcome, sort of truth, full illumination, retreat in battle. Something is going to be revealed. There is a surprise, that, the surprise that's going to come forward. Base of the pack, we've got reap what you sow. Things are going to come forward very quickly. Her inner strength is going to be corralled. Again, we have this queen of wands who is this self-aware. These are the lawmakers. The page of, of Pentacles, who is bringing forward a message of dreaming big, working together, but paused. And then we have walking away the moon. Okay. I am thinking there is something that is going to come up by the midterms. There is a truth that is going to come be revealed by the midterm elections that she's going to have to decide whether she actually contends the midterms or whether she simply walks away. She's going to find her, um, her sass severely corralled, her attitude. So I'm going to have a quick look. Tell me. Oh, I might move on to my, I keep making new cards, so my deck is getting quite big of my intuitive cards. I might move on to my intuitive cards. No, I won't. I'll, sorry, yes, Master. I'm, I'm listening. I was getting a little ahead of myself. I'm going to ask, is there going to be an investigation? Okay, tell me about this 3.5 million of undisclosed donors tell me about this 3.5 million 
of undisclosed donors. Tell me about this 3.5 million of undisclosed donations. Fair swag. Tell me about this 3.5 million of undisclosed donations. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Oh, this guy again. Okay. Well, you don't need me to tell you again who he, who he is and what he's about. And it is Russian money. Wow. It's going to be her complete and utter downfall. Past as Trump, he's going to drop her like a hot potato. He is in her past. Or he's just not going to have any effect. The world. So, endings. There is going to be an investigation on the... Um, be patient. She's being looked at on the world stage. We have the emperor as well, Putin, in the external influences, internal influences. We've got this smug merchant. This is her attitude. She thinks she's all cruisy and safe and smug in her, in her world. Wish fulfillment as well. Hopes and fears is the fool. Um, can mean setting out courage, setting out on a new journey. Uh, trust and faith but it can also very much be down to its basics of simply foolish she is being she has been foolish final outcome reaping what you sow the past is going to come back and it is going to bring uh, bring the ships home basically Bring the ships home of what she's been involved in. Base of the pack. Okay, base of the pack. We have the death card. Anxiety. Insecurity. Wounded in battle and having to defend herself amongst the full illumination of the lawmakers. We also have, she's getting a lot of um, major arcana in this, which means it's an important reading. She's going to be the, sacri the, the sacrificial lamb, for want of a better word. Her political career is going to stop. Her governmental career is going to stop. She's going to be made an offer that she does not want and she does not like, but she has no other options. And it is in regards to the money. But she's not without. It's not like, I mean, she, she went into government with a few pennies to her name as, and is now a multi, multi-millionaire, which sort of says a bit about what she's receiving other than her governmental um, income. But yes, I think I might leave that reading there. I don't know that I have much more to add. So thank you for joining me, and I better go and dig this hole for the plumber. So take care, stay safe, love to you all. Bye-bye.